ASP.NET MVC has something us Web API 2 developers would really like, a new cache header, just like this one here. Unfortunately, there isn't a native one for a Web API, but it's pretty straightforward to build your own and use it on your code. Why would we want to do this? Adding no cache to our response tells clients that they shouldn't hang on to the results after they use them. We don't need it all the time, but when we do need it, it's handy to have. Here is a little tiny new attribute. Notice that it's of type system.web.htp.filters.actionfilter attribute. And it has a public empty constructor, because in this case, we don't need to put anything in constructor. And then lastly, like all filter attributes, it has an on action executed method that creates a cache control header and adds it to the response headers. The four settings are public true, max, max age, which is a time span of none, no cache is equal to true, and must revalidate equal to true. Between some combination of those four settings, clients should respect your desire that they not cache your return. Here we are in Telerik's excellent Fiddler Web Debugger tool, which I consider an indispensable companion for any serious web API developer. Here we are in composer mode, and we've made a get query to our image get service and passed in the name of our sample image. Let's execute it and see what happens. And indeed, we get back an image. Let's look at the raw view, though, to see the headers that got returned back. And you can see we now have a cache control header in our response that articulates in the strongest possible way that they shouldn't cache the results they get back. 